The myriad activities which take place on the River Thames, from Teddington Lock down to the estuary, are overseen by the Port of London Authority. It's the busiest inland waterway in Britain. The authority oversees safety on 95 miles of the tidal river, taking in iconic landmarks such as Tower Bridge and the Thames Barrier. It works to promote trade, travel, tourism and recreation on the water. In 2012, it ensured the safe passage of the Olympic torch relay from Teddington Lock down to Tower Bridge. In the same year, it also oversaw the biggest river spectacle in 500 years, the Queen's Diamond Jubilee River pageant. But 250 miles away, in a boatyard in Portland, in Dorset, the Port of London Authority is seeing its single largest investment for 20 years come to life. It's been dubbed a Swiss army knife of a boat. This is a unique design. We couldn't go out to the market and buy either a second hand or a new boat of an existing design because, of course, in central London we've got a number of bridges over the river uh, with very restricted height and the ship has to be able to go underneath the bridges. But at the same time, uh, the river is also quite, really quite shallow at lower states of tide. And that means that we have to have a, 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 the vessel specifically designed to be able to get over the shallow water but under the bridges. This ship has got two large cranes. They're capable of lifting up to 20 tonnes uh, closer in or 11 tonnes at up to 20 metres from the base of the crane. Now that's a really great capability. The other clever thing is that they can fold right up uh, so that they're then but when they're not in use, they're low enough to be able to get underneath the bridges. The cranes will be used for a whole variety of work in support of civil engineering tasks uh, up and down on the river, both our own with the Port of London Authority's requirements, but also uh, on a charter out basis where we'll be doing work on a, on a commercial basis in support of other investments uh, being made on the river. This new superboat will replace two boats which have been in operation on the Thames for 40 years, doing a range of jobs such as laying buoys and hauling wreckage from the bottom of the river. Um, this is the largest investment that Port of London Authority has made in, in over 20 years. Um, the total cost of the project is going to be around uh, £6.5 million, pounds, which is a very substantial investment for the PLA. We expect the life of the vessel to um, be in the order of 20 to 30 years. But bearing in mind that our existing vessels are now 43 years old, uh, we really hope to get a similar length of life uh, out of this new ship. The company that won the contract, Manor Marine in Portland, is already seeing the benefits of such a prestigious job. There's a lot of interest in this vessel being built here. Um, there's people uh, emailing, calling, basically looking at what we can build in the future, what size vessels we can now build and, and obviously we're talking to naval architects, now they know we can build 40 metre vessels and, and the signs are good for the future. The team at Portland has been working hard on the boat build for months. To ensure it's fit for purpose, it was designed by UK-based naval architects Macduff Ship Design. For something of, of this size to be built on the south coast of England in a company this size, I think it's, it's a first really for, for this area. What it's allowed us to do is, is uh, bring forward the investments that we had planned. Uh, we've doubled the capacity of the yard and we're also building a, um, a, a launching facility for vessels of this size now. For those working on it, it's providing significant work and the knowledge that more boats of this size could be coming to the yard soon. It means a lot to us. Well, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a much longer job, it's about a two year contract, whereas normally we only get six to eight months out of a job, so you know, the morale of the guys is, is definitely a lot higher. This ship has got a great number of capabilities. Um, for a boy, it's ideal. It's like a floating Tonka toy. We'll be able to undertake a, a number of new activities with this ship when it comes into service next year. A lot of the equipment on the deck has got greater capability than the existing vessels. Our, we have two cranes, each of which has got a much bigger lift. We also have a number of other pieces of equipment on the deck, winches and special handling equipment, which will make the work a lot safer for our deck crews, and that has to be a good thing. There's a buzz of pride humming through the yard, and that will only increase as the boat has its sea trials and then finally goes into operation on the Thames in 2014.